A major New York crime figure who has been on the run for nine months is behind bars today. Reputed Colombo family captain Gregory Scarpa was arrested yesterday outside a New Jersey motel. The 37-year-old Scarpa faces a possible life sentence if convicted on racketeering and extortion charges. He's lost more than 70 pounds since contracting the HIV virus six years ago. But 64-year-old Gregory Scarpa left for court with his lawyer, looking every inch the dapper Don he was known as decades before John Gotti. When I was informed that I had the HIV, uh, I had to make a decision as to, you know, just what I was going to do. And I did decide that I wasn't going to let anybody know. But now that the reputed former capo of the Colombo crime family has filed a $1.5 million lawsuit against Victory Memorial Hospital in Brooklyn, his secret is out in the open. Scarpa was infected when doctors at the hospital transfused blood donated by his friend Paul Mealy, who has since died of AIDS. When he was told he needed blood, 20 or 25 of his friends and neighbors came in and donated blood. And now the question was, could it be promptly tested? Could it, the, the procedure by which they tested it? But it should never have been used until the testing was completed. I wasn't given the proper information of the danger that I face by not having tested blood. I never was made aware of this. If I were, I think it would have been easier for me to take uh, a jump off the Verrazano Bridge or get a rope and hang myself. The hospital had no comment on the case, which is being tried at Brooklyn State Supreme Court. A jury of six will decide just who was responsible for making that fateful decision to transfuse tainted blood into Gregory Scarpa, the hospital or Scarpa himself. Whatever the outcome, the alleged mob boss says AIDS was just one bullet he wasn't able to dodge, and he's going to live with the disease the best he can. Reporting from State Supreme Court in Brooklyn, I'm Kyung Yoon, Fox News. What's going on in the Colombo family? The cops say the reputed mob family is having another family feud, and this time an alleged Colombo capo was the target. Gregory Scarpa Sr. was shot in the face during a wild shootout just up the block from his Diker Heights, Brooklyn house. I was in bed. All of a sudden, I had boom, 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 shooting away. I thought it was shooting fireworks. Police say the 64-year-old Scarpa was shot through his nose and the bullet traveled into his eye. He also survived a murder attempt last year. And to add insult to injury, Scarpa is suffering from AIDS after receiving a transfusion from what the cops call a fellow mobster. I think it would have been easier for me to take uh, a jump off the Verrazano Bridge or get a rope and hang myself. He has been under a house arrest for several months, and police say this is the first time he's left his home in a long time. Police say he was picked up by 20-year-old Joseph Randazzo, then driven around the block to meet with 20-year-old Michael DeRosa. That's when the gunplay began. At that location, there were several males on the street. Uh, the exact number, we don't have a, a correct figure on it. One of the males got out of the car and a shooting erupted. Randazzo is in critical condition. DeRosa is stable. So far, more than 10 people have been killed in a fight for control of the Colombo mob family over the past 14 months. Now investigators are trying to find out if this shootout is part of the battle. Obviously, that's uh, one of the cri critical questions. We don't have any hard evidence one way or the other. If something like this kind of shootout in our streets doesn't hit home, take a look. That's a bullet hole, and the cops say more than 25 rounds were fired at the three men. Right now, they say they haven't recovered any of the guns, and they don't have any suspects. If Scarpa recovers from his gunshot wounds and his battle with AIDS, he is due to face trial on federal racketeering charges. I'm Penny Crone, Fox News.